here I will show you the graphical representation of data. Suppose this is our data and these are the divisions Pacific, Atlantic, Central and North and these are the sales from May to August. This is the May sale, June, July and August. And you want to show your audience this data in the form of graph. So first you have to select your data and then go to the insert tab. In the insert tab you will see the charts group. In charts group you have pie chart, line chart, bar chart and different kind of charts are here. If you are not sure which chart you are looking for, so just click the recommended chart here. And all charts. So you will see the line chart, pie chart, bar, area and so on. Suppose in this case we are looking for the clustered column. So this is the clustered column and then OK. So you can move your chart here. So see in the chart, this is the chart title. If you want, you can write down or you can change the name of your here. Suppose this is the XYZ company. You can write down here XYZ Inc. Right. This is called the legend. Means the blue represents the Pacific. Orange represents the Atlantic. Gray central and yellow represents the north. And these are the filter button. Suppose if you do not want to show your audience all the Pacific, Atlantic, Central and North, you want to show only the Pacific and the North. So you can just remove this check mark and apply. So you can see only the Pacific and North are there. If you want to bring back, open this and apply. Similarly, this color is style. This is the style and color. If you do not want this color, so you can change the color. These are the different colors available here, whatever you like. And then this is the plus sign. Open this and here you will see the legend is check mark. It means our legend is here. If you do not want your legend here, just remove this check mark and see it's gone. If you want to bring back here and then data labels, if I click here, you will see these amounts will come on the top of each graph. If you want data table here, then you will see the amounts are here. If you ch will change these amounts in future, suppose in July, you want to make it 500. So you will see the change here on your graph as well. See the blue one. And then this is the format and the design tab here. Whatever design you want to open this and see if you want to show your graph like this, 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 whatever you like. And here again, you can change the color as well from here as well. Okay, so if you want another kind of graph, so very simple, again, you have to go to the insert in chart. This is the pie group and these are all the charts here. Whatever you like, you can pick according to your choice. So in this video, you have learned the graphical representation of data and I hope you have enjoyed the video and thanks for watching it.